Listening to music is a customer need that is satisfied over the years using different products over the years. The phonograph, the record player, the stereo tape deck, CDs, iPod, and now Spotify. So in other words, listening to the music is a job to be done for which a customer has hired several different products over the years. So what exactly is the job to be done and why is it a pivotal technique that every product manager should learn? Hi, my name is Anil Jai Singh. I'm a certified Scrum Trainer with Scrum Alliance, Chief Product Manager for Concepts and Beyond, and an adjunct faculty with NYU's Program of Project Management. I've worked in product development and product management for three decades, primarily in financial services organizations like JP Morgan Chase, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, several small fintechs and banks. The jobs to be done co-creator Clayton Christensen shares his story of McDonald's milkshakes. McDonald's is a great marketing company and was trying to increase the sales of their milkshakes. They had studied this problem a lot. They brought in customers who fit the profile of this quintessential milkshake consumer. They'll give them samples and ask them, could you tell us how we could improve our milkshakes so you buy more of them? Do you want it to be chocolatier, cheaper, chunkier or chewier? They get very clear feedback and they improve the milkshake on those dimensions and yet it had no impact on sales or profits whatsoever. So Clayton's team went in with a different question. And that was, I wonder what job arises in people's lives that causes them to come to this restaurant to hire a milkshake. Clayton and his team stood in the restaurant for 18 hours one day and took notes. What time do they come in to buy these milkshakes? What were they wearing? Were they alone? Did they buy other food with it? Did they eat it in the restaurant or drive off with it? It turned out that nearly half of the milkshakes were sold before eight o'clock in the morning. The people who bought them were always alone. It was the only thing they bought and they all got in the car and drove off with it. So the question was asked, what job were you trying to do yourself that caused you to come here and hire that milkshake? Well, the answer was they had a long and boring drive to work and they just needed something to do while they drove to keep the commute interesting. One hand had to be on the wheel, but someone had given them another hand and there wasn't anything in it. And they just needed something to do when they drove. They were not hungry yet, but they knew they would be hungry by 10 o'clock. So they always wanted something that would just plunk down there and stay for their morning. What do I hire when I do this job? You know, I've never framed this question this way before. But last Friday, I hired a banana to do job. Take my word for it, never hire bananas. They're gone in three minutes. You're hungry by 7.30 a.m. If you promise not to tell my wife, I probably hire donuts twice a week. But they don't do it well either. They're gone fast. They crumb all over my clothes. They get my fingers gooey. Sometimes I hire bagels, but as you know, they're so dry and tasteless. Then I have to steer the car with my knees while I'm putting jam on it. And if the phone rings, we got a crisis. I remember I hired a snicker bar once, but I felt so guilty I never hired Snickers again. Let me tell you, when I hire this milkshake, it is so viscous that it easily takes me up to 20 minutes to suck it through that thin little straw. Who cares what the ingredients are? I don't. All I know is I'm full all morning and it fits right here in my cup holder. It turns out that the milkshake does the job better than any of the competitors, which is in the customer's mind, are not Burger King milkshakes, but bananas, donuts, bagels, snicker bars, coffee, and so on. By not focusing necessarily only on the milkshake market, but focusing on the entire breakfast market, McDonald's increased their milkshake sales to seven times. If you consider the story, you realize a few things. Jobs to be done is a lens for seeing your business from outside in, from the customer's perspective. Let's take a few more examples. Customers don't buy cameras. That's inside out. They hire cameras to do a job. One could be remembering a vacation, outside in. Record an event, outside in. Remembering an hobby, outside in. Another example is Netflix. Netflix builds its company rewarding its regular customers by offering them a subscription-based DVD rental service that enable them to watch more movies in the month for a fixed subscription price in an industry led by Blockbuster, which punish customers that return the DVD late with late fees. When it becomes obvious that internet bandwidth is gonna grow, 
Blockbuster looked at its internal competence, which is 9,000 stores across the world, and decided they do not have to react on this new reality until it was too late. Netflix saw an opportunity in the increasing bandwidth to provide streaming service which it knew would disrupt its current offering, Outside In, which they were already making money on. Let's take the example of TradeWeb, a fintech company that offers pre trade data, trade and post-trade offerings to their clients in the fixed income or bonds market. As opposed to the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ equity or stock markets, the bond market is very hard to get to and companies like TradeWeb have solutions that can help their clients. Let's take an example of a customer that offers liquidity, that offers bonds from their portfolio in the bond market using TradeWeb. What is the jobs to be done for the liquidity trader? Let's do an analysis using the jobs to be done Miro template provided by Product School. First, let's interview the customer, both with contrasting and contextual questions that reveal exactly what is the job that the customer is hiring you to do. What do your customers consider as your competition and how do you understand what your customer values or third, categorize the customer's responses in functional value and emotional value to your customer. Fourth, write down the most valuable insights as job statements. Fifth, by now you might have realized that your biggest job to do is the job should be something that will enable your customers to grow and change. Sixth, write down the main jobs to be done as a situation, motivation and expected outcome. By creating a jobs to be done for all your customer segments using your product as well as the outcomes, your product can focus on finding a solution, help them grow and change. Share what you think about the jobs to be done in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please support us by liking it and subscribing to my channel. See you next time.